What's up you guys, your boy Jalen is back with another video and as you guys can tell from the title today we're going to be discussing the do's and don'ts to wearing replica sneakers. As you guys know it can get very expensive to be paying resale for certain hype pairs of sneakers that are out there. So another alternative to getting the sneaker before a more affordable price is buying reps I guess you could say. And as you guys know on this channel I review a lot of reps as you can see and there's a difference between getting good quality reps and getting trash quality reps. Also as you guys know sneaker companies hit me up on Instagram like Jalen can your sneakers and I'm like why not because I just want to help everybody out so another company sent over a pair of sneakers and you can also get a pair of sneakers just like these off-white prestos instead of paying resale which these I think resell for over a thousand dollars get these for about a hundred to hundred and sixty dollars for a cheap and affordable price rock them and still look fly with whatever fit you throw in with them I feel like it's actually smarter to buy replicas if you can't afford the thousand dollar sneakers out there but today like I said we're gonna be covering the do's and don'ts to wearing replica sneakers but as you guys can see these are really really dope and there's many many more sneakers and clothing out there in this rep community so if you guys do enjoy reps and different things like that stay tuned for the rest of this video make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe down below turn the notification bell so you're notified every time I put a video because you guys aren't going to want to miss we are on the road to 100k 100k coming soon so make sure you subscribe now so you can say you're here from the jump you guys if you guys do want to cop this pair and other sneakers for a cheap and affordable price click the link down below in the description use my discount code Harris for $15 off of your order get you some nice kicks like this like I said today Today we're going to be going over the do's and don'ts to wearing replica sneakers. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Alright you guys, so at number one tip for when it comes to reps is do not sell them as real. A lot of these reps are getting really good nowadays. They also come with stock X tags and different little tags for authentication in quotations as you guys can see. Please do not sell them as reps. Rock them, wear them as you please. If you do end up deciding to sell them because you don't want to wear them anymore, sell them for the price that you got them for. Don't try to sell these as real as at all because it's just not good to be selling sneakers to somebody who is paying their hard-earned money for something they think is authentic and you're selling them a rep pair of sneakers it's just fucked up and all so definitely don't do that I would suggest do not sell them at, as real at all it's just messed up and in the end you could have a bigger problem with the person coming after you or whatever the case may be when they find out that they are UA but like I said sneakers are getting really really good nowadays so if you do want to cop those one-on-one -on -one reps make sure you do go cop them but please you guys please do not try to sell as real I wanted to add to that I know a lot of people, like I said, I didn't really go in depth with the whole selling rep thing, but a lot of people will buy it, like I said, for 160 and sell it for 500 whatever it actually is on StockX and GOAT. Please do not do that because it's just not right, and there is a community for if you did want to sell your reps and just sell them for what you got them for, like I said before. Rule number two, don't trust anyone that says that they're a legit checker because most of these people don't really know what they be talking about. I mean, like I said, the sneakers are one-on-one, -on -one, and so I know there's TikToks out there where you can watch them and do a side-by-side. -side. So say I did my red pair of sneakers and compared them to another one and everything checked out, then you would think your sneakers are real. Don't trust them because you know where you're buying them from, and I guess you can use that as a way to see how close they are to the real, but in all in all, usually those people don't know what they're talking about. Unless you go to like a sneaker store or something like that that actually takes down, breaks down the shoe and legit checks it, I wouldn't suggest watching videos or different things like that. Or even going, like I said, I would hardly suggest even going to the sneaker store because most people don't know what they're talking about and these, these rep sneaker factories are getting really good nowadays at getting sneakers down to one on one. So that's step number two. Do not trust anybody that says they're a legit checker. All in all, you guys, make sure if you're getting your shoes legit checked, make sure it's coming from a credible source and not one of these TikTokers or something someone that says they are a legit checker. So at number three, I want to talk about the quality of reps. So basically there's good reps and there's obviously shitty, terrible reps. The good reps, you're usually going to be paying around what retail is. So say for Travis Scott Air Jordan 1, you're probably going to pay around the 160 range. And for like a really, really bad rep, you'll pay between 40 to $50. It just depends. So like I said, there's two different types. There's the good one of one reps. And then there's like sometimes DHK has good reps, but I don't want to butcher their name, but then you got the DHK reps, which is just terrible in general. So make sure if you are buying reps, if you do want to get a good pair, make sure to stay within the price range of 100 to 160, because usually those are the one of ones. The 40 to 50, you could get away with it, but they do have more defects to them on those 40 to $50 reps and the retail price reps. So at number three, just make sure you're getting the best quality when you are buying reps so that you can wear them proudly around and they just don't look shitty on your feet. At number four, you guys, this is a very, very big one. And I even struggled with this in high school, but rock your reps with confidence. Back in high school, you guys, as you guys know, if you guys are in high school, I know this is relatable. A lot of people try to clown you for wearing reps if you do have reps. 
don't worry about it, rock them with confidence, style them with a the nice fit, you know what I'm saying? In the real world, nobody gives a fuck what you're wearing, usually people think they're real anyways in the real world, high school and shit, people be kid, childish, and they're gonna judge you for what you're wearing, or they're gonna try to legit check your shoe or whatever, but in the real world, when you graduate that shit, you get out of school, nobody really cares, you guys, and just have confidence, like I said, so in school, if you are rocking reps, like I said, you bought them, you know the reason you bought them, you styling them, you looking fly, fuck the haters, don't care what nobody else has to say, because I know a lot of you guys out there, if you're in high school, middle school, whatever it is, and you're wearing reps, a lot of people hate on you, and it does suck, but like I said, rock them with confidence, this goes hand in hand with buying good quality reps, as well get your good quality reps rock them and, and fuck the haters don't care what nobody has to say about you wearing your reps as long as you look fly and it looks good with your outfit that's all that really matters also wanted to show you guys a little difference between a good rep and a bad rep so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now with a pair of Jordan 4's two pairs we got the Oreo 4's and we got the bread 4's so as you guys see on this pair of Oreo 4's hopefully it focuses just check out the shoe completely I did a TikTok video on these as well and you guys definitely called it out the tongue is really really fat you guys and this is like I said, this is the one for the lower price. You still get the same look and feel of the shoe. There's just certain things that are off. This is a really good pair of Jordan 4 breads. As you guys can see, the tongue is pretty fit to the shoe, isn't too big, and everything is smooth as well. The weight difference is pretty different too. These are a little heavier, but just check out the overall look. This is a really good one, and this is a below average rep. Check out the back as well. Like I said, this one's bulkier too. This one is just super clean all the way around, no mess ups, but like I said, the tongue on this one is fucked. Those are the few tips I have for you guys today. All in all, rock your sneakers with confidence. Don't give a fuck what nobody has to say about about your sneakers don't sell them as real either if you're gonna sell them like I said sell them for what you got them for or sell them in a rep community for affordable price that is not promoting them as real you guys you know what I'm saying like me for instance I wear these reps I don't really care it's spending money in a smarter way I have other shit I gotta pay for and I still don't think even if like I said this blows up whatever the case may be I become fame I don't know what it is even if that happened bro I'm telling you I'm still gonna be buying the same shit there's celebrities out there there's athletes out there there's a whole bunch of people out there that be wearing reps that you probably know but you don't know that they actually be rocking reps and I know a lot of people mix their reps in with their real sneakers and stuff like that so just make sure do what you want to do you know what I'm saying if you want to buy reps buy reps fuck the haters rock them style them throw fit picks up do YouTube videos I don't really care you guys but these are the do's and don'ts to wearing replica sneakers hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you did make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below turn the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video because you guys aren't going to want to miss we are on the road to 100k 100k coming soon so make sure you subscribe now so you can say you were here from the jump say you were here from the beginning you guys if you want to cop a pair of these or any other sneaker make sure you guys check out the link in the description and go copy your pair for a cheap and affordable price like I said these are reps these are UA sneakers but hey, love your life, you guys. Rock what you want to rock. And if you have any more questions for me, make sure you comment them down below or hit me up on Instagram. If you guys need rep help, you know what to do. Hit me up on Instagram. I'll be sure to help you guys out. I love you guys. I'll catch you boys in the next video. Your boy is out. Peace.